Anjali Power Vita Pro Wrestling League Season 2 co sponsored by Amul. May I want to put a show key? Pensat Yari K. 65 kilogram work of Kushtika. Devior Sajano. You beat Tangal Kyor Seare. Ukraine Mulke. Andre. Pro Wrestling League Season 2, co-sponsored by Amul Mein. Now we are here, NCR Punjab Royal Kiyorsi, Russia Mulke, Ilyas Bekbulto! So next up it's the men's 65 kilograms and uh, in the red from UP Dongal it's Andrei Kviakovsky from the Ukraine and he's up against Ilyas Bekvulakov Bekvulatov from Russia so a bit of local rivalry going on big ass for Bekvulatov he's come in for Togrol Azgarov who was injured the Olympic silver medalist in Rio who'd won the two contests he competed in and uh, he now is up against uh, Kviakovsky who was at the Rio Olympics and was the bronze medalist in London in 2012. The referee, Edit Doza. NCR Punjab Royals are 3-1 ahead as far as the tie score is concerned. So this really is a must-win bout for Kwiatkowski. He's got to try and win this to keep his side, the UP Dangal team, in the hunt. He probably, Raman, fences his chances a bit more against uh, Bek Belatov than he would have done against Asgarov. Well, with Bek Belatov uh, as well, who's in the dark blue, is no pushover, and he's looking to score the first points, and he does with a takedown. Two points there for Ilyas Bek Belatov, and now a flip over as well. Two more for the bulky Russian. Excellent. The commentators curse as I'm saying that uh, Kwiatkowski must be feeling confident he goes four points behind and uh, certainly Bekvilarov is fresh and uh, he's come here to perform. Eager to prove a point, won the silver medal at the World Cup in 2016 did Bekvilarov a gold at the Intercontinental Cup, a bronze of the European Games in 2015. So he is no pushover. He is no bunny in, in the ring, I can tell you that. And I'm sure Kivitovsky is finding that out. Kivitovsky, as you said earlier, Raman, knowing he's got to win this one to keep uh, UP Dangal in the match. And certainly uh, Bekbalatov really up for this one. Trying to be a little more aggressive here, Kwiatowski, but he's Morning. again in a spot of bother. He could be Morning. pushed out onto the safety zone, the protection zone. Or oh, before that, two more points for a takedown by Bekbalatov. Really looking good now. Bekvilatov going out to a six-point lead, and that leaves Piakovsky with a mountain to climb. 
I wonder now, in hindsight, would he have fancied facing Askarov? Forty seconds left in uh, this first round, and certainly you feel that um, Kwiatkowski needs to get something on the board before going into round two. But you'll have to say the Russian Bekbulatov, it's his first outing in uh, Pro Wrestling League this season. He's just come in, drafted in as a replacement. He's looked match fit and match ready. That's most important. He's straight away in the thick of action and leading is about six to nothing. Really up for it as the clock winds down the end of the first round. Just a few seconds. That'll be the end of the action for this one. And it's a six-point lead to Vic Bellato. There's Bhushan Charan Singh, President Wrestling Federation of India, watching with Dr. Kim, who's the head of the UWW Asia. This is the score. Vek Bulatov leading 6-0. Just a reminder as well that uh, UP Dangal, if they do not win this match, if they do not win this contest, they cannot win this match. Um, they are in great danger. In fact, all probability says that they will be out of the competition um, before the semi-final stages. Well, remember, they've already lost two ties. This is the third for uh, the UP Dangal team. Yes, it'll make life very difficult for them. And it'll make the last two contests that they'll have, the last two ties, must win ties. And even then, they'll be dependent on the outcome of other matches of the remaining teams to see whether they can make the cut to the last four. Yeah, it really is unlikely because it would, the only way that they could get through is to be level on points one the others and then of course it's the number of bouts one that comes into it and uh, they're likely to stay bottom if they cannot pull this one out of the fire the man who's got all the weight on his shoulders the responsibility for doing that is Andrei Kwiatkowski trailing by six points at the moment he's the one in red and blue and he can't make much of an impression again uh, Bek holding him off really well defensively there as he tried to mount an attack and already we've had a minute gone of this second round and Kwiatkowski has got to find some inspiration from somewhere and he's going to need in all probability at least three big moves and both these grapplers come from a region which is known to produce some heavy-duty grapplers who've dominated world wrestling. Kwiatkowski comes from Ukraine. Bek Bulatov is from Russia. At the moment, the Russian is proving to be quite a handful. Ahead, six to nothing in this contest. And just about a minute and 25 seconds or 15 seconds left now for uh, Kwiatkowski to try and make a comeback. Under a minute now for the Ukrainian to try and score a point here. UP Dunga can see this contest slipping out of their grasp. That'll be a warning. That was definitely a slap uh, from Bek Belatov, and the referee quickly steps in and gives him a warning. He's being defensive now, is Bek Belatov in the second round. And why not? He's got a six point lead. Kwiatkowski has got everything to do. At last he manages to get a, a, a one leg and he's got him down for a two pointer. Now he needs to turn him. If he, if he does manage to turn him over here, turn it into a four pointer. He's managed one more is being signaled by the uh, referee it was a takedown but uh, from the floor and that's the reason why another point is what resulted for Kwiatkowski well with under 10 seconds to go and you had the grappler in passive position when that uh, contest reopened can Bekbulata hold on here Kwiatkowski is giving it everything but it's not going to be enough 6-3, it's going to be a win 
for Ilyas Bekbalatov of Russia. And with that win, well, the NCR Punjab Royals clinched the contest as well. Yep, 4-1 up in the contest, and uh, that's the match victory secured. And huge satisfaction, I'm sure, for Ilyas Bekbalatov with that victory over Andrei Kviatovska. There we go, confirmation of the scoreline. Bekbalatov, six, and uh, Viatkovsky, three. The highlights of the contest, you can see Viatkovsky had to give it everything in the second round. Took down Ilyas Bekbalatov for a couple of points there. Was awarded another point as he managed to get his opponent from that crouching position back onto the mat. And that's why it resulted in another point, but that was all that he managed to score. So that's the way it stands. 4-1 in favor of NCR Punjab Royals. We've got an unassailable lead. Let's go down to Poppy and see whom she's talking to.